All right, so 3.5 is estimating derivatives from tables. And I actually went back um, since two, I started in 2011, and almost every single year there was a, there's six free response questions, and one of them was a table, and then they asked you to interpret it on a derivative. 2017 didn't, but they did have a graph. So they can ask you different things. They can ask you to estimate the derivative with notation, find the instantaneous rate of change, the average rate of change, um, and there's two different types basically. So we'll do those in the examples. Um, you'll use slopes of tangent lines, tangent line approximation. We'll do more free response um, once, as we keep learning more information. So on example one, it says use the data in the table to estimate f prime of five. So there's two different strategies. If the val the x value that they want, if that's in the table, you're going to do one way. And if I would ask for f prime of six, let's say, that will be a different way. Okay, and that'll be my third example. So if the given value is one of your table values, what you have to do is you have to kind of compare and take the average of the slope when it's bigger and the slope when it's smaller, kind of like when we did our limits and we had to look from above and below. It's the same way here, if your value is one of the table X values listed, okay? So I'm gonna say from, this is just for you. So from X equals, let's see, three to X equals five, and then I'm gonna compare it to from X equals five to X equals seven. Well, since it's a derivative, we really just wanna find the slope, so you get, y minus y over x minus x. I can use that in function notation. Um, on a free response question, um, this looks nicer, but you don't have to do it. You can just do the y minus y over x minus x. Um, and so f of 7, I'll just write these both at the same time. And I like to kind of do this. So um, f prime of 5, and it's really, we're approximating. Okay, so we're gonna say f of five, so six minus two, all of five minus three is two, so what do we get? Four over two is two. So that's my estimate from using smaller value. And then what do we get? Seven is 11, so five is six, all over two, what do we get? Um, five over two. 2, which is about 2.5. So when we have two different things, we can really say that f prime of 5 is between 2 and 2.5. Um, and I would leave my answer like that. If this was a free response question, they might, I'm sorry, multiple choice, they might have that statement together, but they actually would probably just say something like 2.3 or 2.25. Some books tell you to average it, um, but as long as we have a value that's between 2 and 2.5, then it's a good estimate, okay? That's why it's an estimate. It's not the exact slope. We won't be able to find that actually ever. All right, let's look at the next one. So um, this was from a free response question. I just didn't copy down everything. We've got the temperature of the oven, um, and I didn't have room because I can't do degrees on my one thing as it heats from room temperature. So zero to nine minutes, we can see our temperature is increasing. Estimate the instantaneous rate of change. So remember that means a derivative um, at exactly five minutes. So we want F prime of five. I'm just using F because we don't have a function. So once again, five is given. So I'm gonna use the above and I'm gonna use the below values. So I'm just gonna even just label it for myself. So above, I've got f of six minus f of five, six minus five. Um, from below, we've got five minus four, all over five minus four. So f prime of five, uh, let's see, that's from above, so 310. And you can, um, if you do the subtraction in your head, that's fine. I would write it because if you make a small error, you still earn full credit. Um, so what do we get? 30? 
This would be Fahrenheit per minute. And then this one, F prime of 5. Uh, let's see, 5, so 280. 250 all over 1, so we get 30. Now, this time, both sides end up being the same. So it really is F prime of 5 is approximately equal to 30 degrees. They don't ask for a label, um, so you don't have to have it. But if they're the same, then you found it. Okay? All right. The other type is like number three. So this is from the 2018 question. I just took off the first part because that's all that we can do right now. There's three more parts, so we have a lot more to learn. So we've got the height of a tree. It says twice different differentiable function. Um, that doesn't mean anything to you yet, but it will soon, I promise. Um, H is measured in meters. It does tell us that. And T is measured in years. They always restate the information in the table. So selected values of H are given, of course, and use the data in the table to estimate H prime of six. They want us to use correct units um, and then interpret the meaning. So we have not done any interpretation. So this is where we're going to start learning. What do you mean? How do we interpret a derivative? It just is what it is. So h prime of 6, and all of this would be one point. So if you forget your units, you don't get the point. All right. Um, so now this time, 6 is not on my table. So this actually makes it even easier. So all you have to do is find um, the interval that contains 6. Now, technically, I could go from 5 to 10 also. I could do 3 to 10, or I could do 2 to 10. Um, but the best estimate will be the smallest interval. So um, all of those would be full credit. Um, but I don't know. I don't know why you would do anything farther <laughs> than the one that is closest to. Oops, not F, H. So we get H prime of 6. Let's see, F of 7. So 11 minus 6 all over 2 is what, 5 over 2? And you can leave it like that. Um, and what do we have? Uh, our label is meters per years. Okay. Um, so that's the correct unit. But now we want to interpret that meaning. So the way you interpret derivatives, okay, is if your derivative is positive, that means that whatever the context is, it's increasing. Um, so like on our oven problem, the temperature would be raising. So you want words that make sense. So if we're talking about the height of the tree, it means that the height is getting taller. So we could say that, that the height of the tree is increasing or getting taller either way um, at five halves meters per year. That is the interpretation. Notice I state whether it's growing or decaying, getting bigger, getting smaller, and the rate. Okay, so all of that is one point. Sometimes it's two points, you never know. If the derivative was negative, it meant your values were decreasing. So garbage is getting less, um, the oven temperature is getting cooler, the something is shrinking but if you use the word decreasing and increasing it's really obvious so sometimes there's other words that are better okay so um, it's a really quick thing but because it shows up every year on a free response question and you don't really learn this in a textbook um i just wanted to make sure that this uh, section was explicitly taught. So I give you uh, three questions yourself to do. And notice I just picked these two, um, and these are really from the response question. Okay, so go ahead and give those a try. Good luck.